Hey everyone, Michael Shomer here, back with another Basic First Thoughts. This one is a request by the actual ADR director of Bloom to you, David Wald. Considering how to put it politely, I wasn't too fond of the last Yuri series I saw. Now before I start, I want to say I have not read the manga that this series is based on. So I am only basing on what I thought of a first time viewing as a standalone series, not if it's a faithful adaptation or not. When it comes to pros, like with every anime I do a basic first thoughts on, I chose to watch it English dubbed out of preference. And it being my first dub cast, which seems to be Sentai Filmworks' answer to Funimation Simul dub, I could definitely say, while it's not perfect, it definitely shows how far they have come when it comes to dubbing anime, and overall, it's actually pretty well done. Tia Ballard and Lucy Christensen worked off each other pretty well, like, they made me find the relationship between Toko and Yu very believable. Even some of the other characters like Amber Lee Connors as Akari and Brittany Karbalski as Koyomi worked for me because the friendship they shared with Yu felt genuine. Plus, given it's a love story, I have to say the love story was handled very well. While you can make the argument of some scenes being a tad rushed, it felt refreshing because not only are the characters actually likable, but also I felt like it was paced pretty well all things considered. Even when a character was overstepping their boundaries, there were consequences for it, which made them feel even more real to me. That's because, without spoiling anything major, both leads have some kind of personal flaw which made the relationship and them by themselves relatable. While I don't have much to say about the writing and directing, I like the comment that was solid across the board. Like, to me, it's clear David Wald and Marissa Lenti were passionate about it, and it shows. This ties into the voice acting, but I never really found a performance that was outright bad or a case of it needing a retake. For the most part, everything in the audio department flowed really well. The animage by Troika, I am hope I'm pronouncing that company's name right, really works, and considering it's the first project I saw them animate, I'm very impressed. I really like the color scheme for the character designs, and even when it's still images in a montage, it actually works. Plus, a lot of the imagery used in the opening and ending credits I liked. Like how they showed a sequence with a string in a can moving across people's chest, much like a heartbeat. I would be very intrigued to see not just the next projects Troika makes, but also previous projects as well. I also like the score by Michiru Oshima. I remember the use of piano conveying the scenes very well. Even the song choices for the opening and ending credits fit with the tone of the series, and I quite like the electronic instruments used for especially the ending song. I wish I had more I could say for first time viewing, but considering her other works that I have seen like Little Witch Academia, Godzilla vs. Mechagirus, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla along with its sequel Tokyo SOS, and the original Full My Alchemist, I feel she definitely still has it, and I'll be very interested in other projects she works on. When it comes to the story, I found it pretty engaging, which says a lot, because I have not watched too many Yuri series. Without spoiling anything again, like with the romance between you and Toko, I thought it was told and paced pretty well. Outside the main leads, I liked seeing you interact with her friends. Not to mention it went in directions that I didn't think it would go, like when they mentioned Toka's sister, not just her fate, but also how she was to people outside of her sister. Just overall, I think this story worked very well. Now while I think Bloom Into You is very well done, I do have one small nitpick, but it's the kind that to me hardly made a dent in my enjoyment of the series. My lone gripe is while I think the dub works overall, some of the voices for minor characters didn't work for me at first. Don't get me wrong, it's not that I think the acting was bad or anything, because it really wasn't at all. It's just when I first heard it, the voice didn't gel with the character. Now maybe it's because I got used to it, or the actors or actresses got more comfortable with the roles as time went on, but it was something that took me out of it for a brief time. Overall, coming from someone who isn't well versed in the Yuri genre at all, and while I can't go as far as to say it's the best Yuri anime of all time, Bloom and Dew was still a really good series. I was invested in the main leads and really bought the relationship. No joke, I thought they were mostly a really cute couple. 
The dubbing worked well for me. I think Sentai Filmworks has taken some major strides in the right direction when it comes to that. And the story, again, felt really refreshing because every major character there felt like real people to me. I never got the feeling of them being cardboard archetypes. If you're a fan of romance in general and don't mind something like Yuri, I definitely recommend it. If anyone's curious for legal streaming, it is available on High Dive, but in order to see the dub, you have to make an account which includes a monthly fee. And when it hits home video, I personally think it's worth owning because it's a well done series and I hope it can reach a wider audience over time. So that is my basic first thoughts. And before I sign off, I just want to give a quick message to David Wald should he be watching this video. Not only do I want to say thank you for requesting me this series, but also excluding how you've more than proven to be an extremely talented voice actor and director, I additionally want to say from the times we've talked, you seem like a really cool guy and keep up the excellent work. This has been Michael Schomer, and if you want to see reviews or basic first thoughts before they are made public, then visit my website at sholmesreviews.com, and if you want to, feel free to support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash